Welcome back to Jay Plays Indie Games, and this is Craft the World. On the last episode, we completed our happy home, moving out of the temporary underground shelter that we were in. Our next steps are probably going to be kind of building that upward, but mainly now, I just want to focus on moving down the tech tree and trying to survive. Oh, I like how the background's going to kind of show my happy home. That's pretty nice. Everybody's all inside. That's great. Let's hit play button and actually get this thing started. So, we're hanging out in here. We don't want to actually dig there. And, okay, our guys are setting off to work. I think I have some things actually set up to do. I would like to get rid of that and cut that as well. There's a skeleton under there. Um, yeah, we're going to want to fix this. Okay, craft. Since we have kind of an excess of wood right now, don't we? Yes, 48. We're going to do this. Make a load of these things. Six. We're not going to need a roof for a while, so close. And I want to put these kind of across this and make a nice happy bridge so that we no longer have to swim every time. Because that's getting annoying, right? What else are we going to do? Oh, yeah, that, that's not going to be a bridge. Is this... Kill that sheep if we get the opportunity. Um, yeah, we're not... Uh, we're not doing anything here for the time being, I don't think. This is too dangerous. Uh, this water level... I need to figure something out there. There's a ton of ore down there, so we got to figure it out. All right. I'm just kind of checking on what everyone would be up to right now. And I think it's time to start digging down here because this is ore as well. And we can kind of go into new places and do new things. What we do need is another hatch. So what I'd like to do with that is... I don't know if I can add it here. We're about to find out. Craft. Hatch. Grab some wood. Because I don't want monsters coming up from underground to get me. I just don't. Close like there. Replace hatch with door. And can I put the hatch right here? I always try to click and drag. That's not what you're supposed to do. So you can't place the hatch right there. That's fine. I actually kind of understand that. What I'm going to do instead is go two like that. I'm going to try and put a ladder here and a door here. Uh, oh, goodness, more goblins. How did they get on this side? Where are they coming? Oh, it's a raid. It's a goblin raid. Okay, they're, they're coming through. Uh, my guys are actually fighting as a group a little bit. Uh, let, let's mark that guy for death. I thought the goblins would stay over there, but apparently not. Um, apparently they're raiding again. That's bad. But we killed them. That's good. I hope no one died. And we've got all kinds of people coming. Uh, oh man, I'm a little scared about how this is going to go, because last Goblin Raid didn't go too awfully well for us. Um, and our guys fall during the fight. The Goblin doesn't fall, he's fine. There we go. Okay, knocked him down. And there's still another Goblin. Alright, that was scary. Uh, did not see all that nonsense coming, actually. Let let's kill this one while he's while he's all coming down on us. And actually might want to put a platform here. Not enough resources in stock. Fair enough. Um, well, let's craft some more of those. It's just uh, it's this and this. Do 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 do. And we're gonna we're gonna create this so that we can walk across there as needed. So that we no longer drop down in this little ch chasm that was kind of our old protection system. Now we still have our six villagers, no one died. That's important. If I click on a bed, um, no, it's just remove bed, it's not. Wow, they're still coming. These guys are not joking right now. Um, okay, attack. And we'll use this to open that door. See if they can actually figure out a way up to him. And we could attack that guy as well. We want our goblins dead. Uh, these guys have been kind of hovering around scaring me anyway. I want this digging to get done, and I also want to craft the door. But it's not kind of happening. Uh, do I have a, another lock? I need another lock to craft a door, don't I? Uh, how did that go? That's not coal. It's iron ore. It goes something like this for a lock, I think. Yes, that's a lock. And to make a door, I have to actually click on door, because there's no way I can just remember... Structures, wooden door. Alright. So I need wood. 
like this. It's making noise, but it's actually paused in the background. Which is a little unfortunate. I almost wish there was an option to make it keep going, but I am glad it pauses. Uh, we're going to go there and make a little door. And we're going to make this door, and that's going to be the exit into the labyrinth, basically. Not a hatch. Okay, we're beating on that guy. You're retreating the wrong way, buddy. Uh, yeah, that, that was clever, and I, I applaud you. And we're going to keep beating on that goblin. Little goblin dude. Um, you, you need to decide other things, my friend. Okay. Okay? Yeah, you killed him. You killed him good retreat, because we don't want to kill that goblin yet. He, he looks big and scary. Um, I, I'm under attack still. Where is this attack coming from? Uh, I don't know. Why are you doing what you're doing? My man. Okay, we obviously need this as well. So that can be traversed by us. I feel less threatened now that I actually have a building. Yeah, and I'm going to leave everything there. I don't want to remove anything. Okay, and our door needs to be placed. So let's go up here. Wooden door. They did that work while I was gone, which is excellent. Pick that up. Nope. Okay, and we'll have a nice little cave door, which is fantastic, actually. Okay, and kill that. I don't know where all my people are at. I wish I did know where the other ones were. I seem to only be cycling through two of them. Uh, let's zoom out a little. They're over here. Doing what exactly? I don't know. This guy seems to be humping the earth. Uh, you can click on this guy, take control, and then uh, jump up. Can you walk across that? No, you can't. You know, I was really having some faith there. Um, okay. So release. And since you can't walk across that, like I would expect, what I will do is craft, go to here, earth, kind of like that, close, and I'm going to put earth blocks. Oh, they can walk across it. Those just aren't placed yet. So I'm not going to put earth blocks down. I was about to like earth block across that. Good. Like, water, seriously? It is an alpha, so it was a possibility. Okay, all these people are probably going out to place things. I don't know what he's doing. Um, oh, honesty. Could do that and place another one here when those are gone. I'm under attack again. Why do I keep being under attack and where? I'm not going to kill that thing. Not for a long time. I didn't say to harvest these leaves. So I don't know why you keep doing so, my friend. We really want to go down this way. Let's look at our craft tree. I, my goal is to progress down this craft tree. Okay. So what, what are we able to do here? We can do basic comfort stuff. That looks like what's going on up here. Flower beds. Uh... Venetian stuccos, uh, windows, decorative mirrors, things like this. This probably just improves the comfort level of our home. I think what's necessary right now is wood armor, and to get that we need rope, and to get that we need a bucket. So, a bucket. We have planks. We should have some planks. There's some planks. Plank, 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 and some nails. Make ourselves a bucket. Uh, we crafted a bucket. Craft item to progress in the technology tree. Alright, and I don't know how to use a bucket. Info. Buckets are used for collecting water. The more buckets you have, the more water can be carried by dwarves at the same time. Alright, I have three buckets. Is it something that I equip? No. 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 A new task. Kill ten skeletons. Hmm. No. Craft oil, build wooden chair. Close. Let's place some buckets and see how that goes. I don't really get it with the buckets right now. Rope is a new thing and pink mushrooms are new. But let's look here and there's a bucket and I'm gonna go like that and the info is gonna say use for collecting water the more buckets you have the more yeah. Do, do I place the bucket somewhere like so? Or what? Do I hand it to a dwarf? Or Okay, zombies are a problem. Do I put it in the water? 
I, I do not understand the bucket situation. Is it is it not an equipable item? Like that and like alchemy. Alright, I don't get it. But I have three buckets. Uh, oh, I can gather water now. Okay. So, let's uh, gather water. Kill that. Gather water. Gather water and don't actually kill that. Low health. Drowning. Uh, hopefully swimming away. Yes. And new guy replacing him. Yeah, you guys work in good tandem there. I like it. Uh, the Zombros have no hope against you, and you can beat him on the head as he jumps up. In fact, kill him. Yes. He's gonna die. We're fighting in the water, that's probably a problem. Bang. Bang him on the head. Uh, or maybe we can just ignore him. I don't know. Where's low health guy? You going to bed? You going to bed, low health guy? That's good. Okay, door. Uh, this door is an interesting door. I can use it and close it, or I can use it and open it. That's good. We can uh, we can do this now, which is going to begin the whole thing. Did that poltergeist just fly in my house? I was so hoping that was impossible. Uh, where's where's this attack going on? Skeletons, not really an issue. Uh, when ten of them die, we'll be fine. There's more drowning going on. This will get placed eventually, I hope. Let's hit the craft screen. Um, I'm going to make more of these just to make sure that they are able to place them. There we go. I get XP when I do that. Alright, I'm under attack somewhere still. We're fighting zombies still. And this need to clear leaves continues. Even the zombies have this need to clear leaves. What is up with that? I don't get it. It's like an automatic thing that they do. Everyone just clears leaves. It's like they're the great enemy. I wonder if it's like a boredom thing? Like, I don't have anything else to do. I'm going to clear some leaves. Um, leave the poltergeist alone. He's just being annoying. Yeah, that's what he's doing. He's like, I'm going to gather leaves. Blah, blah, blah. Collecting resources. That's what it says. That's a bit of annoyance. But uh, I'm not going to complain too much. What I am going to do place two more of these things like so alright well I didn't order you to do that but whatever they're gonna talk about nighttime I guess um, select dwarf doing nothing I'm so glad that you're so productive that needs to stay in my inventory dude I only have one of those alright and we've got this started which is interesting to say the least we're gonna add a bit of ladder here and here and I really want to continue down the craft tree so we've been uh, a little offset but now ropes all we need is wool oh we need wool I don't have any wool I do have wool awesome wool now I have a rope craft rope craft the item to progress in the technology tree alright I crafted a, a rope uh, uh, that's interesting. How many ropes did I get for that? Five. Good. Because, you know, rope. Um, I might have to kill more sheep. So, let's, uh, let's find our rope and we can make some armor now. We should be able to make like five armor, specifically. There's leather and there's our rope. Um, let's see how much wood we have. Okay, probably not five. Let's make as many as we can, though and leaves and bang 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 three we need more wood for it and more wool if we want everyone to be crafted all right let's go to our equip screen and armor and we finally gonna get some guys armored now we have a logger a carpenter a miner a miller and a smith so no one's actually just designed to kill things here uh, I don't know if there are fighting guys but uh, apparently I don't have any if there are you get armor my friend Task complete. Equip armor. All right, close. Uh, don't don't get too excited. The longest lived dwarves are going to be the best armored dwarves. All right, very nice. And so we've got three armored dwarves now. That's pretty good. Uh, I don't know how much they do. Let's go info armor two. So twice as good as the helmet. And uh, that's okay because we were able to fight off some goblins earlier without any armor. 
Are these guys trapped? What's going on? I'm gonna put a ladder there and there. Craft. Oh, we don't have any wood. Okay. Um, yeah, this will continue though. I'm liking this. We can get into the gold and all this stuff. Shiny, shiny metals. Uh, I don't want to unleash the fury of whatever's over there just yet. I do want some wood, which should be obvious enough. Um, there's a lot of pine cones and wood over here as well. What I could do is put a portal here. Oh, this is the edge of the... Yeah, okay. And I think people are going to be coming in and out over here anyway, so we should put a portal here. Um, like that. Nope, like that. Yep. And order the chopping of all this stuff. And hopefully the gathering uh, cut. And we're going to put a portal here as well. Now I'm going to order the cutting of all this wood. Cut. 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 And cut. There we go. And we're going to be gathering water as well, which is okay by me. Um, hopefully my dwarves understand what's going on. These guys are not doing anything. If I put a portal here, portal, um, portal, there we go. Maybe they'll freaking leave. Uh, or I could just cut across like that. Fine. Either way, as long as you guys leave. Uh, I don't know if that's going to fall or stand up or what. But we'll find out, I guess. Uh, I'm under attack, of course. By that. I need to kill that. Um, let's send everyone over there and maybe the last goblin will die. Everyone kind of responds when I say I need to kill something. I like how the, pe the two... Okay, one of the armored people did go. And that's running away, which is awesome. Maybe it'll die and I'll get a mushroom. Or maybe huge amounts of experience. I don't know what you get from weird uh, goblin things. I do know I've got about four minutes left for my next thing. So this is going to get important real quick. Alright. So this is going to be resources central. And this is going to be iron as well. Interesting. Okay, over here. We're trying to clear out this water. No one's actually doing that, though. I think everyone's busy fighting. Oh, they killed it. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Um, actually, I can do like this. I can put another door there. And I can cut in this way as well. And that way I can just make the cut across there. That might be okay. Multiple entrances into your stronghold is always an excellent idea. For defense, you know. No, that's a terrible idea, and you should not listen to what I'm saying. Let's go over here. Uh, okay, we still have some several portals, so they can get around. That's, that's what's important. That's what I was checking on. Um, they don't seem to be doing any of that, though. Let's see, what are they doing? Oh, they're just chopping around down here. That's fine, actually. Uh, we're going to end up digging really deep. Um, hopefully not too fast. Hopefully not too deep. We don't want actual Balrogs to be showing up. That's going to be a place where ladders are necessary. Let's go to our crafting menu. And we have no wood? That's awesome. You guys need to go gather some wood. So I'll let you do that. That's another little piece of wood we can gather. Let's do that as well. I uh, don't want leaves showing up everywhere all the time. That skeleton's been there literally forever. Not literally, but for a very long time, actually. I'm going to put this ladder here, just to make that kind of complete. And, oh, a thing. Carpenter book. Yay. Uh, eventually, I'm going to put a door in this space, and that's going to be another direction I can start cutting. Because it looks like there's resources over here as well. Um... These will be cut into eventually when I can move all the beds and such upstairs, which I will do eventually. This is going to be a fortress. It's going to be expanded out. This is not the final form. 
Uh, right now I just need wood though. And no one's getting it for me. Which stinks. It stinks a lot. Why is no one gathering my wood? Where are you going? You seem to be going quite far. Okay, he's cut he's cutting at least. Are you gathering? Yeah, you're gathering. Okay, we'll get wood eventually then. That's good. Excellent. Under attack as always. But it shouldn't be a big deal. Um, maybe if I try to kill that sheep. Uh, get some more wool that way. And eventually that will lead to wonderful, wonderful things. Like, I don't know, everyone having armor instead of just five or six people. That seems like a good idea. Maybe a steak dinner for somebody. I don't know. All I know is I want this water drained so that I can get back to my iron mining. I don't know of an excellent way to do that. I know that this might be interesting, but more useful later most likely. Um, I'm going to make a new portal over here because these things vanish freaking all the time. And I'm going to make a new one over here as well because I don't want it to vanish. In case someone actually decides to listen to me about gathering up that water. I wonder if water goes in the crafting menu at all. Wouldn't It would seem like it. You know, I've got water. Gold. Hey, gold. Uh, I've got no use for gold yet. Simple fence. Info. Simplest fence. Slows down the enemy's advance a little bit. Could be a, a useful thing. Um... Okay. So I don't see water. That's fine. Didn't expect really see water. Uh, this is still food, so we do have it. And we are protected from the elements now, which is awesome. Okay. And people are coming in and out. That's fine. What tasks do we have? Build simple fence, of course. Equip wooden bow. That would be nice. Craft and equip dwarf with item in pro to progress in technology tree. Killing ten skeletons. We've got five of the ten. Craft oil, wooden chair, and glass. All right. Fair enough. All of that's fair enough. Uh, I think the the, uh, the sand there is important in glass. And we've been teleported to a place. Enemies are coming. Uh, hopefully they won't actually get in. Except that they're going to go straight for us and they're going to get in. So let's, uh, let's batten down the hatches. Use. And hope that they don't actually get in. Tons of skeletons in this. And as long as these portals are open outside, I should be able to get in and out without actually messing with them too much. Jeez, there's a lot of them. I did get some wool, right? So what I can do here... Uh, do I have any more wood? They still haven't brought me any wood. You see, okay, there's 75 wood. What am I talking about? Huge amounts of wood. Good. Uh, we've got rope, and we probably have wool as well. Yes, we have a wool, one wool. We're gonna get more rope. And let's see, how was how is that armor made? Um, armor. There we go. And we're gonna make armor. So a leaf some wood we have tons of it now which is excellent and ropes and we need at least three more made close equip let's get everyone in armor now because we're facing our fiercest of foes and I'm feeling kinda of good about the fact that we are an armored up dwarven group okay so close that. That was a good idea. I feel good about that. What other crafting can we do? Just in the meantime, while this attack is going on and I ignore it. Uh, oil. What does this require? Stone. I can get more stone. Uh, glass. Requires coal and sand, which I have both. Uh, sand, not a lot of, but we can get some. And coal, not a lot of, and we can get a lot. We can do that at least once to make four crafted some glass alright fair enough uh, what else is on our to-do list oil is still out of reach until we get some more stone fortunately we have tons of berries square window two pieces of glass and two pieces of wood that's doable um, wood wood 
And where's the glass? The glass is probably after crafting, so it's here. I, I'm kind of figuring these things out. This is like raw resources. This is dealt with resources a little bit. This is building supplies, uh, you know, equipable stuff, furnishings, and food. That's what I think is going on here. So we can craft a couple windows. And we'll probably want to place that. So let's go here and here. Go to craft. Uh, grab our structure. And windows not here, which already kind of ruins everything. My entire belief in what I was doing. Maybe it's a comfort item. Okay. So I was wrong. It didn't ruin anything. We can do like that. Close. And we can have a nice little window here. Put it uh, right here. It's nice. And right here. It's not, oh, can't build a window square here. Anyway, we have a window. We built it. We used it. Craft tree. What is next on all agendas? We got windows done. We get nicer windows. Lancet windows. Uh, info about that. Comfort 3. And tons of stuff. Yeah, it takes a lot for the nice windows. What about up here? Wooden chair requires tons of planks and wood. It's fine. Um, and its only purpose is comfort. I need to start raising comfort, apparently. Um, but I think a lot of this is just to make my house look nice. And I totally appreciate that. Bows and fences are next on the list. And I think a bow would go well right now. So, I'm glad I got that extra wool. wool rope, I mean. There we go. Rope. I can make several bows. Let's see here. Wood, wood, wood. And I'll make at least two. And close that. And what's next on the agenda? A fire arrow. Interesting. What about fences? I can make those as well. Uh, I know a lot of this episode is me crafting stuff, but uh, apparently this is something I need to be doing. So make a couple fences. Maybe four. All right. Uh, what's new here? Simple arrows are infinite, which is good. Close that. And all right. Close that. Go to my equip menu. Who wants a bow and arrow? That guy can replace that with it. And you can replace that with it. Very nice. Um, yeah, we'll start attacking these guys. We're all equipped at least a little bit. Uh, and we, we can actually deal with this attack, maybe. Also, I'm supposed to be killing skeletons. And this bowman might actually have a good way of doing things. He might be able to do this from a distance. I don't know how great of a distance. Let's see what kind of range he actually has achieved here. We might actually get some uh, a melee fighter in the front and a, a bowman in the back. These guys move quick enough. Uh, looks like we got some guys from the other side. Don't like that necessarily. Oh, he's doing good. Took that guy down before we got to him. Very nice. They're working together. Okay, run away. Um, and do another shot or two. That's pretty good. I like it. He knows to back off when he gets hit. And then he freaks out and does nothing and dies. Select dwarf. Take control. Run like a like a little girl. Release. Yeah, no. All right, fair enough. Um, you guys need to fight better. Seriously. And, of course, they're getting in. Uh, they broke the door. There was no other way. Someone's drowning. Uh, they're all getting in. I'm under attack. I, I don't know how this is going to go for me. I'm hoping nobody dies is, is the main thing. But where are they trying to get to, is my question. They're going to go downstairs, they just go into my totem. Nope, they're just going to the totem and back. That's cool. Okay. So we're going to have to build another door and another hatch. That's fine. I can totally deal with building another door and another hatch. Let's go to the crafting. And just start that right away. The wooden hatch being more important and easier to make. Wood is here and we'll have our house back when that's done so that is fine okay guys we're in the middle of an attack we're gonna be coming back next time 
with the conclusion of this deck. These attacks are a bit strange to me. How they work, and they don't really... They're way overwhelming, and there's nothing I can do about them. On one hand. On the other hand, they're not really threatening, because my guys run away pretty well. So, as, you know, people are drowning, and my house walls are broken, and a new task is happening, I'm going to end this episode, and see you next time.